Viewer request. Oh. We're going to make hydrofoil boats. Something. I caught something. I caught something. What did I catch? Oh man, I got catfished again. So now we have these boats. We're gonna make them hydrofoils. What's Wait a, a hydrofoil? That's my line. You take some hydro, in this case water, and add some foil. You put it in the microwave. What the f According to Wikipedia, a hydrofoil is a lifting surface or foil that operates in water. With that in mind, I took the internet to look at some of the various examples and prototypes. All right, let's look at some hydrofoils. Hydrofoils, if I can spell that. Let's go to some images. Ooh, look at this one. So we're gonna be building a ship. So I'm gonna be looking at mostly larger boats. The common theme I'm seeing here is usually just two supports. Usually one in the front and one in the back. On all of these actually. Oh, that's an interesting looking one. Just two. It looks unstable. We're not gonna build that one. Oh, here's something interesting. Look at this. Yeah, I remember this product. This is a parrot quad drone attachment thing they made. This is an interesting design because it doesn't have any physical controls on the foil itself. You have these fixed front wings, which when you raise the altitude or raise the speed, these foils will come out of water, thus producing less lift. And there's just one tail wing in the back. So I think I'm gonna try this because I wanna keep the parts to the minimum that are gonna go on my foil to make this a little bit easier to build. So let's get started. Grab some scrap aluminum for the 6061 variety, bend the outriggers, angle grind the crappy airfoil shape into the front main airfoils, grind it some more, cut the airfoils in half, screw it to the bottom of the boat, cut out another piece of aluminum for the rudder, pop rivet the whole thing together, install an electric motor, go to the lake, and let's test it. All right, we're done. Hydrofoil test number one. I have to be careful, because if this thing starts to fill up the water, it will sink. Nope, not working. All right, well, I did make this trimmable so I could trim the back half down like we explained in the hydrofold of like how this thing's supposed to work. Nope. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh no. Hang on, I got it. Oh, wait, how does it pull back over? It's heavy. All right, so that actually worked. All right, I'm gonna try to just uh, finagle with the uh, the angle of attack of the rear wing <clears throat> and see if you guys seem to work a little bit more. <laughs> it's unstable. All right, so we definitely have enough lift, but the problem is the center of gravity is so high that once it starts tilting one way, it just kind of falls over. So I'm just gonna unbend these and then bend these in just a little bit. Hope we get a little more roll stability. All right, now we'll give that a run for its money. Yeah, boy, look at that. Look at that, it's not working very well. That right there is a problem. This hot glue sucks, it doesn't like sticking to this plastic. Oh, uh, do I have zip ties? I think I brought zip ties.
of trimming of the main foils, mainly for roll control, but once we got it all balanced out, it actually worked all right for being such a simple foil design, because the only thing it had was throttle and rudder steering. No roll or no pitch control. So you basically just modulate that with the throttle. So that was actually pretty fun, right up until this point where... It turns out a little bit of the grease from waterproofing the electronics got into the side of the boat and Dave smacked it with the camera pole and the whole thing just fell apart when underwater. And then I it came it. Apart. Yeah, watch it again. It goes smack and then the whole thing comes apart. So you got a half of the boat back at least. My hydrofoil is half a success because that's what I've got. Where's your hydrofoil, Sam? Uh, I got mine, don't worry, I got mine. I'm ready. Yeah! It's flying! <laughs> also, Sam technically cheated and flew his boat too. Okay, mini ramp. So we bought these boats and the product says, oh, it's designed for fishing. So we get this thing, we start playing with it and the boats ultimately suck. The latches don't hold the top on very well. And one interesting note, fish pull your boat underwater pretty hard. And this boat has no flotation in it whatsoever. So what will happen is the fish will grab your boat, thrash it around, pull it underwater, pop the cover off, and then you're out of boat. Okay, ran over, back to the video. Ow. We had one more thing to do because that ended up working a little bit too easy and I want to challenge myself. So what's better than a speedboat? A tugboat, obviously. I need more thrust. So we've got rid of the ducks and fan because it's total garbage. And you know, air moving a tugboat is kind of stupid. So we have this hydro thruster and let's just try it again. There's not enough thrust. This sucks. I thought that fan was gonna be more powerful. Sometimes the easy part's the hard part because you know, the actually no, this is the hard part. It doesn't produce enough lift to fly at that relatively low water speed, so... so I'm going to take this hydrofoil wing, because I know this is enough lift, and we're going to bolt this to that. Alright, we're done. Yeah, that's a lot of incidents in the main wing. I should produce enough lift to lift this tubble here out of the water. As you can say, I'm just winging it. So that ended up working, but it was actually a lot harder than the first boat. We found out a bunch of things, mainly my air foils were too small in the front for this weight of the tugboat. Also didn't have enough thrust, but the problem is I don't really have any more motors or equipment out here to make this thing work, because we kind of did this video at the last minute. So maybe we'll try it again with a bigger boat uh, with more hydrofoil stuff, because ultimately this was just a learning experience for me to kind of test out the various control methods. So that tugboat actually ended up having roll control is in the form of elevons and also rudder so it's basically like a straight up airplane underwater and then flying around 
So lessons learned from this, if you guys ultimately decide to build your own hydrofoil, pick a light fast boat and try to actually get full control of the foils because it's actually a lot more fun where you can actually roll the boat and you can also pitch the boat and you can yaw the boat because it's just like flying an RC airplane but you're just on water and your limits you staying within water. So that's all we have for you guys. Let us know what you want to see in the comments below with other viewer suggested challenges because I know you guys have said hydrofoil a lot. Maybe we'll try any chronoplan or wing and ground effect for the next video. But anyways, I'm always open to suggestions and do the thing now. Okay, bye.